This one's interesting. Dear Ajahn, I heard that the Buddha once said all actors will go to hell because they induce people to crave more and encourage delusion. My friend who had a degree in music opera from music and opera from Cambridge decided to stop teaching music because of this. I who have a deep interest in the performing arts also find myself often lingering in the past after each rehearsal because of the attachment to the ecstasy and the excitement that music gives. Do I have to give up my hobby for the sake of spiritual growth? What do you think, Ajahn Prabhu? The, the particular person was a comedian, wasn't he? The particular actor was a comedian. And he thought he was going to go to the, the heaven of the laughing. And the Buddha said, don't ask me this question. He asked him again, hey, don't ask me this question. Is he going to the hell of the laughing, I think? You know, it's, it's tricky. There's different types of performing arts. So, you know, for example, classical music. There's a kind of people who listen to good quality classical music, a kind of samadhi develops. But it's not the kind of samadhi that's going to have an insight into not self. So, and I think that's what Buddha is pointing to is, you know, encouraging people to absorb in a way which isn't going to get them enlightened, in a way they're still stuck. And, you know, it depends on what kind of performing artist. If you're a you know, heavy metal, grunge, that kind of artist. And then there's, you know, playing a harp. It does affect people differently, but I think in terms of a hobby, you're asking, do I have to give up my hobby? I think you can keep a hobby, I would say so. But sometimes it's very relaxing. If one knows how to play an instrument well, it's very relaxing to, uh, to use that discipline as a kind of samadhi there. The one downside that I can see is that the more karma we make with liking a sensual impression is that your mind will replay the tunes that you like. That's, that's a downside. You end up with this samadhi in relationship to music and so then when you come and sit and you've got Beethoven such and such and you end up with this incredible capacity to replay I mean, I didn't learn classical music, unfortunately, but I did listen to a lot of bad pop music, and it still comes up <laughs> with uh, remarkable dexterity. You know, somebody says something and it reminds you of a lyric, and that stupid song comes up. <laughs> That's still happening after 20 years of meditation. So. <laughs> I'm often asking Ajahn Prabhu, do you remember that song? Where is it? He doesn't remember, but I. <laughs> used to be a fan of very good quality classical music, so he does get, which one's your favorite? <laughs> so Ajahn Paru gets Bach and John Coltrane in his meditation. <laughs> I get Blondie. <laughs> Only occasionally. And you can imagine with the comedians, like, you know, what the Buddha was pointing to, often people come to listen to a comedian, they do get drunk, usually, and then they laugh, you know, hysterically, and it's very funny. But you can see that the passions get inflamed. So if you make a career, I suppose you're doing that three or four nights a week for a couple of decades, you can see that the Buddha had a point. And uh, if one is especially attractive in the way artists are today and if you, you know, uh, enhance your natural attraction in a way that arouses lust in others. So you're on the stage and, you know, and you're dressed very beautifully and it arouses craving. So if you're doing that, if you're doing that a lot, arousing craving in other people's minds, it isn't good karma. And not only is it not good what you're doing to their mind, you need to understand that in the future, when you come to meditate, you're going to be aroused. Something's going to come and arouse you, distract you, and fascinate you. 
So there are dangers. But I think hobbies, I mean, you know, what I often suggest to people is just keep meditating and meditate more and more, and you might find if you do that, that you realize that meditation is better. And then you want to stop. And then there's not much grief, is there? But to get that kind of result, you do need to practice quite a bit.